Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hey, guys. Amanda here. This I'm back. Amanda, my wife. You came on the show last week. And I actually, did. it was actually, a, it's a, not, not like I was super surprised, but it was a hit. I know, yeah. There was lots and lots of really good feedback. Thank you so much for the lovely comments. And I think what people are really interested in is I think they're interested in, um, I think people just knows it. <laughs> I think people would just like to know what we get up to in our spare time. So this week, I wanted to talk about cars. Okay. I talk about property a lot, but yeah. cars, um, holidays, yes. lockdown, Okay. plans. Yeah. But before we go into that, what have you been up to this week? What have I been up to? So I'm sure lots of you have seen that it was Samuel's 30th birthday. It was. It was a big day. Yep. And we were in the lockdown. So I planned something really special for you and he didn't know anything about it so Samuel loves experiences he loves dinners um, and socializing with people that he loves so I arranged an intimate um, dinner party we had a, a chef come cook us a three-course meal it was really good yeah it was really really nice and we also had the room all decorated nice something as well though that Samuel loves is like shisha which we usually do when we go on holidays abroad and we haven't yeah. been away for um, well the past yeah, so um, so I got someone to come and set up some some shisha outside. We had a fire pit. It was just so nice. It was. So you didn't know anything about it until the actual the day off, the night off, when it was all about. To, I just said to you, we need to you need to dress up at this time, and then yeah, you know that was that was it. The, so. the only problem with it was that I could probably get used to the idea of having a chef every night. Oh, I know. He was like, hmm. We could have this every week. It wasn't that expensive. <laughs> it was like, this is about as expensive as just going out for a meal. How yeah, much, yeah, how much yeah. It's like 65 pounds a head. Yeah. With yeah. three course meal, lamb shank, everything. Yeah, you bring it. Mm. So, so yeah, that was really good. Um, I do think we could probably have a chef more often. Um, it was nice. Holidays are, are, are nice. You also booked me a paragliding trip. Which oh, yeah. I had to, we had to cancel because the weather was a bit... A bit too Yeah, the weather windy. wasn't favourable for it. So, um, so okay, because anyone doesn't know me super well, um, might not know, the thing I like to spend my money on is... Experiences. Experiences. <laughs> like, I'm very happy to spend money on experiences. Don't like spending money on clothes so much. Don't like spending money on, like, objects, things that are plastic or just things, stuff. Um... But I do like spending money on experiences, so holidays. I mean, we've spent so much money on hotels yeah. and holidays. Yeah. Um, that's great. Well, what have I been up to? Well, eating great food and being <laughs> spoiled by a man off my 30th. Also writing the book, The Success Students Book, which actually is a really good book, isn't it? It is a really, really good book. I just love that there's so many different people in the book. And lots of different people can relate to, mm. you know, the different people that are in there. But just the success stories, uh, reading, you if know. If you haven't read it already, you can get it on Amazon. But it's basically 30 chapters, because I turned 30, and every chapter is dedicated to one of my success students. And it's really inspirational. It's a mm. beautiful read. It really um, is. So I've been publishing that. I've been promoting that. I've uh, been looking at new sites, development opportunities. Um, but what I wanted to talk about is cars, okay? Because cars... We're, we're upgrading and changing yeah. and stuff cars at the moment. And there's this whole thing about electric versus petrol or diesel. So we decided, which is quite a big deal, to go electric on our cars. I say cars, I should probably say car. Car. <laughs> You're the guinea pig, Singular. right? I know I'm the guinea the, pig. She's the so... guinea pig. So yeah. talk to me about cars. Talk to me about electric versus diesel or petrol and what car you're looking at getting. Okay, so we're looking, well, yeah, so I'm going to be changing my car soon. And, and you're not sure which one, you're viewing lots. Yeah, so I've been viewing lots of different options of electric cars that are available. Um, and I've seen a few different ones. Um, but the pros of having an electric car is that it's obviously really good for the environment. There's tax benefits as well. But you say really good for the environment. Yeah, there's no, no emissions, zero emissions. So I think, you know, in the exhaust pipe, it usually gives off like bad gases and stuff into the air. With electric cars, there's none of that. But there's some people that argue electric has other bad problems, like the radiation problems and... I mean, I don't know. I haven't really looked into that, so I don't really know. Yeah. But... Do you think that's the true reason why you wanted to get electric? Because you wanted to help the environment? Or is it because of the tax savings? <laughs> it's probably the tax Or a bit of a mixture. I think it's a bit of both, because I do care. But, I mean, it's not the I only care reason. about the planet, yeah. 100%. Yeah, we should look and after it. We should. And I think there's nothing, there's nothing worse than people that just treat... You know, you see people just, like, dump stuff on the floor. Oh, I really hate it when people just, like, chuck litter on the floor, especially when it's plastic. 
they treat the earth like their giant trash can. Yeah. And it's really, really not yeah. cool. But then there's other things. It's really hard to know. There's so many people debating different things. Mm -hmm. Like a plane, for instance, you know, the amount of... Oh, yeah. Stuff toxins yeah. and stuff from a plane. It's like, should we just not fly then? Mm. Well, we haven't flown for a long time, but it's not really because of that. I know. Um, but well, some people say, a bit off topic, but last lockdown, you know when we had the really, really good weather last yeah. summer? Some people were saying it's because there's less people traveling because everyone was locked down in March. That, um, that because of that, it just made the air clearer and stuff because there wasn't so much pollutants coming from right. the cars. That's just something that I heard, but I don't, I don't know how true it is. Did, was that, oh, did you hear that? Was it Dave? <laughs> Who's Dave? You know, Dave down the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Dave down you the pub. Yeah, I'm not sure who. I don't know if it's a credible thing. Dave down the pub. <laughs> but comment below. Is that true or is it not? That's come what on, I my heard. come on, my Google researchers. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's true. Yeah. Maybe Dave was right. Yeah. So yeah. So the main reason is not because it's not. It's only. It's not only about you know. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about electric cars. Yeah. Okay. You can claim one hundred percent of the cost of the car. Mm back as tax deductible. That yeah. is huge. That is a big, big deal. Not only can you claim back 100% of the car itself, but you can claim back the insurance costs. And believe me, when you've got as many points as Amanda's got, that's huge. <laughs> I do not have points, <laughs> may I just add. <laughs> I'm such a good Sorry, driver. Sorry, I mean, you've crashed as many times uh, as Amanda's crashed. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You've got a squeaky clean. I've got a clean license, no bumps, n The nothing. funny thing is, though, like me, Amanda, Russell, my brother, and his wife, Anna, um, we all together, we have like a joint business insurance. And collectively as a four, <laughs> we are so expensive. There are so many points and stuff on there. But to be fair, um, you are the cleanest of yes, us all. Yes, I am. I'm the cleanest. I'm probably helping balance it out a bit. Yeah, <laughs> she balances it out. Massively. I had massively. a driving ban, didn't I? Yeah. So my, my, my insurance is really high. And I drive... And also, yeah, yeah you, you don't drive badly, though, so don't get the wrong idea. When you were done, you, you, I don't think three times... It was because he four. four times he was literally going like three miles over the speed limit. Correct. So it's not like he drives reckless. No, just, I got it was the to, totting. I got a balance. Yeah, it was the totting up. Yeah, I do a lot of driving. Yeah, yeah. And you know, listen, I don't speed fast. I'm not reckless. I'm a safe, yeah. good driver. Yeah. Um. Uh. But. I got caught speeding just a, and every time it was just like like three or four miles yeah. over. It was like, ah, oh, really annoying. It's quite unfortunate. There were some hidden cameras or whatever, <laughs> and over five, and it was like just before the five year period. Yep. Um. Then, yes. then I got another another three points, but I'm back driving now again. Yeah. Um, but my car is really expensive. This is a big, expensive car, and my insurance is really high. I pay per year just myself. It's six thousand mm. pounds a year for just for me to drive my car on insurance alone. Really, really crazy. Insane. So, um, yeah, so you can claim the whole car back as tax deductible, the insurance, and there's no diesel or petrol costs. Nope, which is so good. Right, from, a, from, a, from a commercial point of view, it just is a complete no-brainer. Yeah. The question is, what will it be like driving an electric car and, and how will it work and stuff, which is why I have a fantastic guinea pig. <laughs> I know. I did test drive an electric car, yeah. um, and it accelerates really, really fast. I oh, was man. shocked, and it literally feels like you're gliding. It just floats. Well, Russell, it's, Russell it's just bought drive. an electric car. Um, yeah. I don't know. I say bought. I don't. Think he's, I, don't I think he's leasing it. Actually, I, I we tend to lease our cars. Yeah. My my Range Rover. I actually own that. But why did I buy my Range Rover, and why did I we think, not lease it? I think it was because you just loved it and. You knew that you weren't going to get sick of it. Like, that's it. That's that's anytime the one. soon. <laughs> normally, when we, normally I don't want to buy a car because I usually within twelve months I'm yeah. bored of a car. Like after twelve months, I'm normally like, mm. and after two years, I'm just so done with it. <laughs> I'm like, I want to get something new. So yeah. to buy a car is just stupid, especially if you. Also, I like brand new cars. Yeah, you know, that nice new smell. To buy a brand new car and then sell it a year later is just commercially moronic. So you're better off to just lease yeah. nice new cars. And then change them yeah. whenever you want to change them. Like how we change our phones. You know, do we own our phones? I don't think so. No, 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 we don't. We, we just, just get them on contract. Pay them on contract. Yeah. I've got a new, in fact, my new phone was supposed to come today. Amanda ordered it, <laughs> but it just didn't come. Yeah. Because they said, we rang you 
the security team rang you to check that it was you that ordered it and you didn't answer. I'm like, oh my Samuel goodness. doesn't take unscheduled calls, so... If, if my phone rings, I don't know who <laughs> it is. If you ever ring, don't be offended if he doesn't answer. It's because unless it's scheduled and, it, and it's in his diary, he's just not going to answer exactly. it. Exactly. So. I'm not going to come out of the meeting and be like, oh, sorry, <laughs> hold on. Someone's calling me. I don't know who it is. But I'm just like, no, you want, you want to speak to me. You book an appointment. I guess you're quite busy. Right? So, so, so anyway, I'm going to come. So now we're going to have to do a trip to the three store and, and get it in person. Uh, anyway, where were we? Um, cars. So yeah, pros and cons. So yeah, so the, the major pro is that, yeah, it's tax deductible. So that's good. Yeah. Um, Russell's Porsche. Nice. Really, really nice. It feels so small getting in it there. <laughs> it's quite low, isn't it? I should, I should do a whole video yeah. about Russell's, Russell's Porsche. Yeah. It's really nice. Okay, so what car are you going to get? So I'm looking at the Mercedes EQC. I've actually done a video about it on my YouTube channel, so you mm. can check that, that out if I, you're interested. I hope you're not. <laughs> hope there'll, be, my... there'll be a link like somewhere, Whoa! Whoa! Somewhere. Whoa! Are you pitching my audience? I mean, oh, just in case you're interested. You're pitching my audience to go and subscribe. You're trying to steal my subscribers right now. I am. Yeah, go subscribe to my no! YouTube channel. No! What, what is this? What is this? Oh, yeah, if you if you want to see, you know, if you want to just see like, you know, little lifey, vloggy type, just no chill. real content, you know, <laughs> no value, then yeah, go and subscribe to Amanda's channel. If you want to see value tips and you want to become financially free, stay subscribed to my channel. Um, or you can subscribe to both. Yeah, or you can subscribe to both. Uh, anyway, yeah, we'll put a link maybe below. Thank you. But you, you edit these anyway. Yes, so anyway, I do. So Amanda's in control this of... This is going to make the cut for sure. <laughs> okay, so you're going to get a new car, maybe the Mercedes. Yes, but maybe you're... the... Yeah, so I'm just looking at different options. I'm so trying to get to buy a Tesla, but... Yeah, I'm not into Teslas. I just feel... I don't know, I'm just not into them. I feel like they're a bit the too best. simple. For the best. That simple is brilliant. Yeah. It's simple not really brilliant. my vibe. Simple's, Minimalistic. Simple's great, just like you. <laughs> I am not simple. Okay? No, you're not simple. Mm. You're very, very complex. Thank you. Not complex in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. um, simple. Is, is that an insight because someone's simple? Doesn't that mean they're I think, stupid? Yeah, I think it is. It's like a simple person is not really, they haven't really got much going for them. Anyway, so electric. Yeah. Definitely, definitely the way to go. Yes. Uh, you'll test it. The yeah. problem is if I end up having to go electric, what car would I possibly get? I'd have to get the big Tesla. Uh, the thing is, the big Tesla... Honestly, Viv, I just don't think they look... I don't even think you'd love it. Do you not? I really don't. But it opens the door You look, like that, yeah. Like, like, but like it eagle, looks... Eagle it, wings. It looks like a van, for starters. It's no. just not cool. It looks like, like a it. spaceship. It's so... Yeah, cool. spaceship, van, same thing. It looks like a mum car, like... Question. Mm -hmm. Are you missing holidays? I am missing holidays so, so much. But we're in lockdown... We're in lockdown And at the we've got a, a, a newborn, which yeah. kind of ties in well because a newborn stops you traveling overseas. That's true. We normally travel like two or three times a year. Yeah. We'll spend, and we go alone as well. We go alone, fun. leave the kids at home. Yeah. Um, not on their own. Well, we, live, <laughs> yeah. we live with your parents. <laughs> we go away for a, a week or two, three times a year, somewhere really exotic, somewhere beautiful. Mm. Um, in fact, we have to talk about the best places to go real quick in a minute as yes. well. And um, we haven't been away, but because you've been pregnant and then we've got a baby, and lockdown. Yeah, it's kind of like combination. Is imagine if we just as we left lockdown, you became pregnant and we couldn't oh, travel. Oh no, that would suck. That like two years of no travel. Yeah, that would suck. But I think if things go to plan, so I think we're allowed to travel from May the seventeenth. Yeah. But I think towards the end of the year, we usually do a December holiday. I think if that goes as you know. Well, I know because I've got an August holiday booked already, right? For us. Yeah. The Miami one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Miami. Yeah, I forgot about that. You forgot about that? I've got a business meeting. So, again, tax deductible, <laughs> right? Obviously, you have to be careful and run everything past your account. But if you're, you, you can tie in a business meeting with a holiday. Yeah, kill two birds yeah. while you're there anyway. Everything, every, if you can claim things back, obviously not, of course, the, the entire holiday, but, mm. but the flights and stuff like that, uh, and be smart. We're meeting the Grant Cardone. I'm excited. And... Have you ever met Grant Cardone in real life? I haven't, no. Mm. I haven't. You're, and I'm a big like fan Grant. as well, so like I Grant. think I'd be so nervous. But What yeah. about the time you met Kevin Hart? <laughs> okay, okay. Samuel, I love Kevin Hart, a comedian. He's American. And Samuel surprised me with tickets to go see him, VIP, front row, and also to meet him after. And I literally thought, me and Kevin, I was like, oh, I was like, he, if he knew me, we'd actually be friends because I just feel like we have the same humour. When I met him, I was just like, 
Hi, Kevin. I've never seen anyone so starstruck. <laughs> We pro how long were we chatting with Kevin for? Five, ten minutes? Yeah. Not long, short, short time. Yeah, it was really short. But, but the whole um, time it was just a, a man that I was shocked at Telling how... Kevin how amazing he is, yeah. how funny he is. But I was so nervous. He was really nice. He was so nice but to But you had this strange voice that I've never heard before. Oh, uh, he since. always says this, but I don't. It was like I a don't. posh voice. It was like you suddenly lost your northern twang. You <laughs> sound like, um, you sound like, hello, Kevin, it's so good to meet you. <laughs> I'm like, who's this? Who's this girl? What? What? I was making yeah. a good impression. Yeah, well, but he was nice. He, was, he really... was really nice. It was so cool meeting him. Like, he's just amazing. I love Kevin Hart. I don't think I'd heard of Kevin Hart until we got married. No, no. I'd never heard of him. Just like you hadn't heard of some really famous people. Like who? Like Mika. Yeah, I hadn't heard of Mika. I took you to see Mika. Took me to see Mika, and I was just like, wow. He's literally the same level as Beyonce. He is just an incredible... Same level in terms of talent, you mean, In right? terms of talent. Definitely not fame. No, 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 not fame, not fame. He should be as well known because he's very, very good. See, the good thing about going to see people like Mika is he's really talented. I love Mika. Yeah. But he's not that famous. True, so it was quite intimate when quite we saw intimate. him. It was nice. Like Beyonce, oh my goodness, we oh, got yeah. good seats there. And it was just... The, ch the, op the chance of going to chat with Beyonce after the show, oh even gosh. if you get the best, best, best seats, yeah. it just ain't happening. No. Um, you just can't. But whereas, whereas with the smaller, like we saw, we saw Mika coming out of the yeah. like chatting with him, but we were very close yeah. up. Oh, Beyonce, so nice. she was. We got really good seats, but she was so far away. Yeah, it just it was just awful. Yeah. So all right, best places to travel. Where do you want to go? So we're gonna go to Miami. Oh yeah, I've been to Miami. Miami's amazing. Um, I can't wait to go to Miami. I've been to a lot more places you've been to. When we got married, yeah. I was jet setting all over the world and you were not coming with me. Mm -hmm. How weird is that? Because now I'd bring you. I know, yeah, it's weird that. Why did you always stay at home? I'm not sure. I don't know. But I remember when we, when I had Ruby, you were traveling a lot. So she yeah. was obviously a baby baby. So I was going to South Africa, yeah. Florida, Florida. Yeah, so that just didn't fly. But before that, I'm, I'm not sure why I didn't come. Maybe I was going for like a businessy thing. And you were it just was like, business. You did travel a lot. Biz for business stuff. Yeah. I remember Remember when you asked me to come to Poland. I think, was it Poland? I'll be, I'll be I, Poland, think, yeah. I think it was Poland. And then I was kind of just thinking, oh, I don't really know. And She it, said no because she didn't want to go to Poland. So I went on my own. Yeah. But then about six months later, she went to Poland on her yeah, own. Yeah, I have been to Poland now. So. <laughs> with, with some friends. I was like, yeah, oh, thanks. I know. <laughs> At the time, I think it's just because I thought when you're doing your thing. Yeah, like, it's just, a bit sucky for you. Yeah, just going around by myself is boring. Yeah, if I'm going, if I'm like speaking, I've got meetings. And I'm yeah. I'm going for me to meet and view yeah. problems and something other. She might just be thinking, nah. Mm. Whereas your girl's trip was a bit, a little bit different. Yeah. But, um, okay, so best places we've been. Um, California was incredible. Yes, Spent California a month there, was amazing. A month in California. Yeah. We, we, we literally went to... We went all Everywhere. down the coast. So we went from San Diego all the way up to San Francisco. I think they're opposite ends. Best, best, but all best thing to do in California. Best place to go. Best hotel. Oh, the Beverly Hills Hotel. That was nice. <sighs> Worst hotel in California? The Cecil. The Cecil. Oh! Even got. oh I booked it in the Cecil. It was horrible. Infamous. Right? It's in downtown LA, but they've actually just recently put put a documentary about it on Netflix. How it looks nice? It looks nice, and the lobby looks like pleasant. It's all right. Okay, it's infamous for murders, uh, disappearances, it's horrible suicides, nasty, just nasty, horrible, nasty dark, things. darkness. It's just, mm. However, we went to the Cecil, and it looks nice when you first walk in. So, oh, yeah, man, it's, it's quite cheap. Yeah. I don't know why we stayed there. I don't I know. I think we'd spent so much. Money we did. on that trip. We, we did. Put, we, we, we budgeted 20 grand and we mm. spent 66 grand. Yeah. And we tend to do that, don't oh, we? I know. It's just experiences. Yeah. And, and then towards the end of the month, I was just like, honey, 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 <laughs> we can't be staying in these three grand a night hotels. Yeah. Let's just go downtown LA and just book somewhere normal and just enjoy norm normal life to see what a normal person. And we yeah. booked the Cecil. I think, it was like, I think it was like 50, 60 pounds, really cheap. It looks quite decent when you get it. It's yeah. okay. Yeah, it looks all right. But then we were in there, we were in the bedroom, and we were watching this thing on YouTube about this lady, this Chinese lady called El Eliza Lam. Yeah. Who went, dis who went dis disappeared. She went to California. She disappeared. Mystery, she turned out she died in the hotel. It was a real mystery of how mm. she died. It was this horrible oh. documentary. We were watching it. And the name of the hotel was the Sissel Hotel. The one we were in. I know. It was I like know. 11 p.m. And Amanda's like, we need to leave. I hated it because I didn't really have good vibes anyway. But then when you watch that, and it was just literally coincidence that you just happened to watch that. 
and it was the hotel that we were in. And I, it was just so spooky and I was just thinking, I don't want to sleep here. You know when you don't sleep well, it was one of those where you just like can't wait for But we decided to again. because we feared more leaving yeah, at night. Yeah, Because yeah. it's in a really horrible area it's as well. It's like really near Skid Row oh, or it's right in that Skid little Row, bit. That area. But we didn't realise this as well because I thought downtown, L downtown LA, cool. Bear in mind the night before we were at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Yeah. And, so we, just... and we'd been to all these fancy... Nice. Yeah. Where did we stay when we went to Las Vegas? The, the, that was like just after this oh, Cecil I experience. Can't remember. I can't remember the name, but Las Vegas was amazing. Las Vegas is just, I want to go back there one day. We don't it really drink much. Amazing. We don't yeah. really drink much. Although you did that when we were in Las Vegas. I know. She, she actually, I, I had one happened? drink and it knocked me out. I knew that would happen though because. Knocked me she out. Went, what, did, what did you drink? It was vodka and Coke, but they literally put, put like. Put too much vodka in it. Yeah. And, and, I, and I, saw, I saw them do it right. So she, she went, I'll have a vodka and Coke. Yeah. You don't really drink. And I don't really ever she don't drink. Really drink. That, yeah. I don't drink. I have, I have a bit of beer or whatever, but I don't, we, neither of us are big drinkers yeah. at all. Um, we don't go out, we don't get drunk. Yeah, that, no, that's I've not never, right. I've never done that. So we're there. She goes, oh, go on, I'll have a vodka and Coke. I see him put the vodka in, I'm thinking, that's a lot of vodka. <laughs> she drinks it and she like kind of like necks it. She's yeah. quite thirsty, necks it down. I'm like, whoa. And then she's fine. And then like two minutes later, she's like. <laughs> Honestly, it's the, the room started spinning and I was just like, whoa. First you have the little <laughs> giggly fears. Yeah, and for then like after, three minutes. Yeah. And then she. Oh my gosh. She threw up. I threw up. All down the bowling alley. Uh, I think you, I think I think you managed to get a lot of it in the bin. Yeah, it I was think, just awful. <laughs> I'm never I've never been that girl. Don't want to be that girl. But that oh, night man. I was that girl. So. How, how did I react? Did I find it funny? Or was I? I can't remember. No, you were quite helpful. Was I helpful? Yeah, you were you were nice to me. I think I was worried. I was like, damn, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> yeah. um, but apart from that, we didn't drink on that holiday at all. Yeah, no, we didn't. That's we what didn't. happens when you don't drink and then you do drink. Yeah, um, oh, it was too much. Was but too yeah, much. Las Vegas is great. Yeah, we didn't spend a penny on gambling. No, we didn't. We, we didn't. didn't. We didn't. Any... We never went into the casino. We didn't Not even really? do like what the slot machines. We didn't do anything. I remember that place. You know where it feels like it's daytime, but actually it's nighttime. Yeah, the fake sky. Yeah, oh, in the shopping goodness. mall. It was just. It was like nothing. I've never seen anything like. What were you guys about Dubai? Yeah, I was gonna say Dubai is another place that we loved. We yeah. enjoyed. Stayed at the Burj. Burj Al Arab. Oh was man. It. So again, Samuel loves experiences. That I'm, was nice. I'm not that bothered, but. We had this like a suite. I say it was a suite. It literally was like you could go upstairs in it. We had a butler. It was just insane. I was good. That. It was insane. That it was, was like really an apartment. Oh, it was amazing. That, the, the, if you ever get a chance to go to the Burj Al Arab, yeah, it was nice. <sighs> amazing. Um, place, some of the places we went to in, in Asia have been great. Singapore. Yeah. What's it called? What's the, place the Mandalay? We Mandalay. What was it called? The Mandalay Bay Hotel. I Something think. like that. Mandalay. But the one with the three. It's like iconic. Oh man, that was building. amazing. All over yeah. Thailand. Some of the best really hotels. Really nice. Oh, and that little like villa place that you found. Right, let's end this podcast and book some flights to go to. Okie dokie, yes. I'm sold, I'm sold. You're sold. No, I'm honestly, sold. I, I do miss, <laughs> I, I am missing holidays. What we've tried to do during lockdown is we've tried to turn our house into like yeah. a holiday vibe. We've got like a bit of a beachy looking house. Yeah. The weather's been good. We've got, um, instead of spending the money on holidays, we spent the money on a swim spa. Yep. So we've got a beautiful swim Worth spa. Worth every penny, I think. Oh my gosh. We said that will either be the best or worst investment. Yeah, um, it's been so good. How much for the 30,000, I think yeah. it was? 30,000 uh, pounds. Shout out to, what's the name of the company? Uh, Christina at Hot Swim Spa. Yeah, I think We should leave cool. a link in the, yeah, we should leave a, yeah. a, a, if anyone wants a hot tub, get, yeah, get it from these really, guys. Really, really good. It took a while to come. Um, but when it came, it was worth it. Yeah. And we've had that now for quite, what would you say? Probably come, well, come no. Come up to a year? Come eight, up to eight, a nine year. months? Yeah. About yeah. nine months. Mm. Um, it's big. You can swim in it, but it's like, got a, what's it called? A swim mill where it, yeah. it's like a treadmill for swimming. You can actually work out in it. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, jacuzzis, best thing. It's best so thing. nice. You can change the temperature so when it's hot, it's cooler. And when I know it sounds cold, stupid, but having palm trees in your garden kind of makes it feel like you're yeah, hot. That does. was what sold like me. A good vibe. Like just being in the house with in a hot tub with palm trees, nice weather. We we watch the stars. Yeah. It is amazing. So we've kind of tried to turn our house into a holiday mm. sort of vibe and it does feel like every day is a holiday. It does. Especially when you're with the most oh, amazing person ever. Sweet. Um <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to Miami. I'm looking forward to that too. So moral of the story. I can't remember what we were talking. Electric cars. Yep. Tax deductible holidays, yep. if you can. Kill two birds. Enjoy experiences. That's certainly what I do. Rather than things, things don't make you happy, you know. But experiences 
experiences do. That's true, unless it's a good bag. See, I love designer bags, so, you know, for me, that's like her. She tries to convince joy, me. Joy, joy, joy. She tries to convince me <laughs> that it's an investment. It is, it is, it is, right? Because the Louis Vuitton that you got me once for my birthday, yeah. that is now more expensive than when you bought it for me by like maybe 200 pounds. So it has gone up in value. So yes, bags are an investment. Do you mean the... Do you mean your bag has gone up in value? <laughs> or, or that bag if it was well, brand new? That bag if it was brand new. However, if I was going to sell it in really good condition, it would still hold its value quite well. I could probably sell it for how much you bought it for as they're now more expensive in the shop. Okay, okay. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, as this is an investment channel, I just can't have you say that. <laughs> I just can't let that go. It's true. Okay, I just kind of go. It's but, true. You can buy bags and then resell them. But do you not think you're better off to just accept, like my car? Yeah. Right? I could try and convince myself it's a good. I, I could say to you because it massages when no, I, it, no, it no. saves me booking massages, and because listen, just listen. Okay. Because it's it's um I, I don't know how could I convince that it's a good return on investment. Um, I might be able to get a deal when I'm viewing a property because they might see my car and think, oh, that's nice. And then it's a good return. But like, or, or I could say, oh, you know, it's comfy. So I'm more likely to say yes to go on a long journey business trip because I've got a comfy car. Okay. Like, I could try and convince myself somehow and justify that it's a good commercial decision to own the car. Okay. Or I can just go, it's actually a terrible commercial decision. <laughs> you know what? I love it. And it's a treat. And I want it. No problem. I can afford it. Like, <laughs> Do you not think that maybe better off just accepting that the Louis Vuitton bags and the Gucci bags are a terrible investment, but you like them? I don't think they're a terrible investment. What do you think? <laughs> let us know in the comments. Yeah, let me let know. In the comments. Also, if you've got questions <laughs> for me or for Amanda yeah. about anything lifestyle or anything at all, comment below yep. and we will answer pretty much anything yep. in next week's podcast. Also, we need a name for the podcast. Yes, we do. So let us know in the comments, what do you think the podcast should be called? And hopefully, if I can convince Amanda, I'm really surprised what? that Jessica has not woken up during this. I know, yeah, because it was a bit... We've not had any disturbances from nope. Ruby, from Luke, from Jessica. They were playing quietly or sleeping. What a miracle. <laughs> What a miracle. So let us know, what should the podcast be called? Comment below. Final words of wisdom. I don't really have any, but have a great week. And thank you for watching. <laughs> we love you guys. See you next time. See you, bye.